Hello Internet and welcome to a new tutorial. In today's tutorial, I want to show you a pretty nifty trick in Silent One that actually a couple of my presets from my Silent One Psychedelic Impressions presets were actually based on. And it's how to make the filter FM. Now, the principles, I've already explained them in my how to turn pigments to into an analog beast tutorial. You can find the link right in here. And, you know, for Silent One, we're going to use exactly the same principles. You know, you'll get the filter, crank the resonance up and, you know, modulate it with a couple of LFOs and you get the sound. But there's, in Silent One, it's a little bit tricky. And now you might tell me, but why, you know, bother making it with, with Silent One if it's a bit tricky and we can do it in other synthesizer? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's the character of Silent One. And that's what we're always looking for, you know, the special character, you know, that we want to add into our tracks. So, yeah, how to make it? So basically what we need to do, we'll take down the first oscillator in here. By the way, we have an initialized patch in here. Actually, it's an initialized bank. Nothing too special, just a saw wave. Now, you know, the basic principle will take down the oscillator's volume. We'll set maybe to a low pass, crank that resonance. Yeah, and a thing in here. Now we'll take the second resonance and start cracking it till we get a sound wave. Pretty nice. Yeah, but... Let, let me modulate it with the first LFO, like so. I'll leave it on sine wave for now. I'll set it to free. I'll crank the rate to maybe uh, like something like 40, yeah, 49 hertz should do the job. And by the way, you can tune the LFO to the tuning of your root node. Uh, that will work. Or you can just leave it to the ear. Uh, you, you, know, you can do both options. Uh, they're both good. Anyways, so what I'll do in here, I'll crank this uh, LFO modulation in here to cut off A all the way up. And I'll control this modulation with the gain because, you know, the, the gain knob is just bigger and easier to deal with. So now we'll have this. Pretty nice. Now, what I'll do, I'll... We have already a uh, MIDI pattern here. It has a C3 note. We really don't care about what note we're going to use for this one. Uh, we don't care about the tuning. And I'll use autoplay to send, you know, uh, an arpeggiated ARP as uh, an arpeggiator. Yeah. I'll use autoplay to send an ARP with some groove in it because, you know, as usual, I'm modulating the gate uh, length in here. So I'll just turn it on. It's set to 1 and 16th time multiplied by 1, you know, the same settings as every tutorial. And when I'll hit play, listen to what will happen. Yeah, there's no ARP. And here's the little trick that I want to show you in this tutorial. To make it happen, what we'll do is we'll, we need to give it just a tiny bit of oscillator volume. And now check this out. It's working perfectly. So uh, I'll give it just a tiny bit more oscillator volume. It's like, I don't know what happens exactly. I think it's there's something with the algorithm, I, I suppose. But anyways, there when there's no volume... Uh, the synthesizer will be really delayed for some reason, and th when there's just a tiny bit of volume of the on the oscillator, it'll just work perfectly. So what I'll do in here, I'll just take the oscillator, I'll set it to sine wave, and now we have this. Pretty nice. And now what I'll do, I'll set the polyphony to one voice, so it's mono, or we can click the button here. And uh, I'll take the second LFO, set it to sample and hold. I'll set it to one on eighth, like so. And I'll make it modulate the filter cutoff, like so. Pretty nice. I'll set the minimum value on autoplay to maybe a 30%. Yeah, that's better. And now here's the cool thing about it, about silent one so when uh this is how it sounds with a low pass 
But if I'll set it to bandpass, it doesn't sound the same. No one else set it to high pass. It won't sound the same either. And actually, I really love it with a high pass filter. And now, for sure, we can change the wave of the first LFO. So maybe. I really love it when it's set on ramp. I'll give it just more modulation with the second LFO, like so. I'll take down some of these nasty lower frequencies. I'll add a delay. Set it to one and eighth dotted like so, ping pong. Uh, and I'll give it some feedback. I'll give it some spreading. Now we have this. And with the kick and bass, we have this. And yeah, that was the trick I've wanted to show you in this, this tutorial. I really hope you've liked it. And if you want to support me, make more psychedelic content, music or tutorials, you can always consider becoming one of my patrons or buy my presets on Gumroad. Yeah, have a great one.